the dining room. Then I think we actually need... Yeah, I'll put the kitchen off of... Just... Let's get... Here. Okay, I'm back on Twitch and Mixer at least. Okay. <clears throat> so I did want to take this time to say, uh, because Kaiba talked about being having all six of the live streams open, uh, do not forget, we do have a Society of Squirrels website. Society of Squirrels. Assuming that my uh, Nightbot works properly. But it's societyofsquirrels.com, and there you can watch all of the members of Society of Squirrels at once, chat with us between different chat windows, and for tonight, we have Fox added to it, so his stream is also included. <laughs> oh, yep, yeah, there it goes. Now we're live again on YouTube. Yeah, I've never quite gotten the hang of the whole YouTube events thing. I've just not been able to get it to work right with Restream. <laughs> I'm sorry? Uh, a lot of that stuff's run by API commands. I I'm a nerd. I'm a tech guy. So maybe they don't have an API for restream when you're hitting other channels, like other services. You know, they might. I mean, it says they had a big old tutorial about how to set it up, and I did it like they said, and yeah, that still broke. And thank you for the follow, Arch Terriel. Appreciate it. be kind of nice to have some of the terracing left okay so this is a driveway foyer so and let's call this this will be the herb garden or, or kitchen garden minecraft is not playing fair it's moved stuff around in the tabs in the creative window That's just to make it interesting. This way. Um, just to confirm to me, you have a saved toolbars tab in the creative menu? No. Yes. Say so toolbar is C plus one, plus two, plus three, four, and five. Okay, I was. Oh, yeah, that was a new feature with 112 where you could have multiple toolbars. I was just curious if that was an actual vanilla feature or one of my mods adding it in. Ah. Uh, oh, uh, let's play with Goreway. No, Goreway, we only have one bar. I don't know what you are talking about. <laughs> Quality of life mods, aka with Gore cheap mods. <laughs> it's like, um, mouse tweaks of the first tweaks, journey map, um, JEI, and a couple other things, I think. As far as the grounds go, how big of an area do you think you'd want? Because I was going to start laying out the out perimeter fence. Yeah, no. 
Tex Cub, hello. Tex, oh, hello. Everyone. Welcome. You're oh, there he is. Way over there in the distance. I see a tiny little Tex. I guess <laughs> everything's not. The text that matters is how you can use it. Well, and I was thinking that, you know, not everything's bigger in Tex. <laughs> Us. Oh my gosh. Wow. In Tex, what? Us. <laughs> You know, they say everything's okay. bigger in Texas, but you were so far away. Uh huh. Did, did, has he been offed? Is he here? Oh, I <laughs> guess we could. Oh, I gotta turn off. No problem. Okay, so Fox, by the way, the. What. How big of an area do you foresee wanting for your landscaping endeavors? Yes, I can, Kaiba. So where is everyone? Do you want the whole scar? We are hiding. Um, I don't think we need the whole... Oh, well, hmm. It doesn't have to all be part of the... the... Well, at least the world is... Definitely. Well, that was weird. Look really cool. Yes, I think it would. That's probably more than we need. That's probably on point Two. in case there's any. No, that's good. In case we need to expand the house at all, you're not going to have to worry about Okay. Those. Okay. Alright, let's see. Build. So, what are we doing? Building a house. Well, um, I'm laying out the, the rough outline of the building. Um, uh -huh. The orange is marking the various rooms that there will be a sign indicating what the room is supposed to be. This is for the first floor. So there will be a second floor, which will have bedrooms, uh, a library, a study, and then the third floor, which will be the attic, and that will have the uh, servants' a few servants room and like a storage area so what we were thinking is if we have a couple of people working on the outside of the house and a couple on the inside so now that edge of the house um anybody who wants to start building the outside of the house i guess we can decide do we want it to be more modern looking or more antique looking i would go for more antique just personally Okay, I'm I'm fine with that. What is what do you other people think? I see. I'm fine with that too. And thank you for the host Kiba on Mixer. The, the, the world itself is um, a modern level of technology um, because like Winston made his fortune by um, mass producing clay for use in building. Okay, so, but it could be an older house, though, within it that could, building. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I'm fine with an older house. If anybody has any strong objections, now's the time to speak up. I kind of like the old style building, so. Yes, yes, I, I thought I thought that too. Not a lot. Enough to show that it's gone wrong. Enough to show that it's like um not a natural phenomenon. Exactly. So what are we gonna build the outside of the house out of? Hmm. Do we have any new woods in twelve? I think it's still just the original eight. And twelve. Well, there is concrete. Yeah. Yeah, for a modernish house, concrete would work. But that's mm. rather 
lag. Yeah, that's about the... yeah, it is it. tend to know because the whole point of the wall is to keep people out not to give them a nice ramp pretty much exactly <laughs> don't want to take away the charm of the land too much you know mm -hmm. just wonder here just that so Raider Raider, you're working on the walkway up to the front door? Well, more like the driveway, all worn out and decrepit because... Yep, I heard you. Raider Raider! Did my microphone cut out again? It might be temporarily away. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> So I think, yeah, this fence is going to have to go up over this, this here. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can incorporate it. Yeah. Down. Can't see as my friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to play with some gabooms, that's fine. <laughs> oh, greater radiator's sound is working. Okay. Mm. Okay. Nope. Still can't hear me. So, oh, did you hear Texas goodness. question, greater radiator? Okay, do you hear me now? Let's see. I'm thinking probably testing, if we testing. Put the fence fairly close to the wall on this side. Or that I just repeated myself. If we put Sorry about this, folks. I know you guys can hear me, but nobody else can at this point. I don't know what's going on with Discord. This happened before. Okay. All right. Can you guys hear me now? Yep. Yes. There yes, we go. We Discord just decided to drop me again, so... It's such a pain in the butt sometimes. Anyway, yes, Tex. Uh, kind of working on a driveway slash path because I figure the house has been abandoned at this point, so the driveway is not going to be the nicest looking thing in the world. I'm going to do some demo. Okay. Ready for kablooms. Guard. Mm -hmm. There we go. Maybe a little too many flowers, though. Oh, you can make nice flower gardens now. Uh -huh. I'm actually going to go to push to talk. That way I don't have to interrupt y'all every time I talk to chat. Uh, the garden area out here, because it's such a big space, I'm thinking part of it's going to be an orchard. Okay, that's perfect. So, since it's an older style house, I imagine we could go with dark oak and brick? Dark oak and stone? That might actually work.
you want to do? I want to get to it, I think, once you get more of the walls down and design up. I'm going to take the spire on the left side of the house. I'm going to flat wall it outside. We can incorporate it as kind of like a... Like an imposing spire, unless you want it gone. Just let me know what you wish, what you guys decide on that. Okay. Okay, party ballroom. That's... wall out so the spire is dining room right here right here yeah i've already done yeah. a little tnt underneath to get an idea of how the power blows on the server and where the holes were kitchen I garden i can hollow it i can cut it flat i can make it a flat stone wall where they incorporate this whole thing with no scale but that might not look right in minecraft hmm so we d wait, have we or have we not decided on the basic walls blocks? I don't think so yet. Well, if we're going to use dark oak um, and brick for the house, did that sound? Yeah, that sounded fine to me. Okay. Ooh, that would be nice. Then I'm placing andesite out here. <laughs> then possibly for the walls, we could do, do brick with. Uh, stone pillars or with some wrought iron uh, or some iron fences as per development do we have stone pillars well I meant make them out of the possibly the andesite yeah. since uh, everybody already got some andesite happening The site looks really good. Can be changed to match the flow, but I like the way it looks. Again. Yeah, I can change it. I guess it's a good block. It's really come a long way. Okay, well, I think that sounds like a uh, plan then. And actually, Smash, I put that up by accident. Uh, there's not enough... Um, Like, what kind of style overall? I know modern-ish. But are we going, like, modern uh, Victorian, well, actually, or...? I think we're we're going older. Older Victorian? Uh, <laughs> I guess... Antique is fancy. Well, Victorian tends to be fancy, and is more of a status symbol for people with money yeah this house is like a monument to Winston's wealth he show he built it to basically show the world hey look at me I am filthy stinking rich hmm so you want something big uh, something with rooms uh, something kind of fancy so pillars around the outside. That sounds yeah. kind of good. I was I yeah, it does. Got kind of an idea for something, but I gotta check colors. Uh, I don't know that I like that. So I'm, I'm just grabbing pallet blocks. Ooh. Like I said, the andesite can go away uh, if it doesn't match the brick. Okay, well, let's try the different lock. Ooh, that's too dark. Okay. Yeah, the granite would be too much red, I think. don't like the diary. Hmm. Is clay still a thing? Hardened clay in here? Terracotta. Oh, it's called terracotta now. Okay, that makes no sense, but okay. So, so 
So yeah, I was thinking the ballroom floor, somebody can go mad with the terracotta and... <laughs> yeah, the quartz is just too white. I was thinking quartz pillars. Well, some type of pillar, but the quartz just isn't going to work. I think... Exactly. This will work. Let's try this. Uh, find me a corner. This is a corner of the house right here, right? That's a wall. Outside wall. Yeah, the concrete blocks are just too flat. There's no detail. Well, that's where you end up having to do details apart from... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'm just trying to come up with an idea. For the wall? Yeah, but I fence? want... Well, I was thinking for a wall, a corner on a wall, but trying to come up with something without modded is... Uh, Difficult. <laughs> yeah. Because the color palette is... So very similar. Oh yeah, this is actually the outside wall. That's right. Put my palette in place, but that's okay. Because this is the the house edge. Yes, this is the ballroom. You know what? Um... Get lost myself. Well, I still like the andesite best. Polished andesite. Let's see. I mean, could do the traditional stone. Hello, pig. And then you said you wanted to do like stone brick or something? That's too much. Well, gray. No. yeah, this is. Let me try okay, this. Okay, so this is. Uh, this palette here should actually be out by over there. I've got it by the house. It shouldn't be. So, this is actually the edge of the house right here. Well, I know. I'm just yeah. coming up with a, a corner idea. You know, yeah. like the corners yeah. of the house? Ah, oh, I see you. You're... Well, see, for the house, I thought we were going to be using... That's why I put this down here. I thought we were going to be using the dark oak in the brick or this the uh red brick do you want to use a wooden brick house well okay. for the outside walls could. anyway of the house itself yeah let's try that i like this end stone i just don't know what to do with it you know mm. it's a really pretty brick it could be one of the floors uh, foyer floor, possibly. That's an idea. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Line it up on the inside. That's an idea. I'm trying to figure out what I want to use for a stone pattern out here. Hmm. Put these this over by the actual. I'm thinking mossy. Yes, it's a cliche, but. So where's the corner of the house going to be? Because I thought with the yellow wool that was here that this was the... That's supposed to be like the outside corner? Yeah, that's the outside of the house. Now... All right. You know, it's a little flexible, obviously. If you need a little bit more room, you can go a little further. Well, right. Hmm. Tifa, how are you doing? I have food to pop. Let's try. I don't know, what do you think?
I'm trying to envis envisage that envisage that as more of the wall. So this more of the wall would be this, the wood. Yes, the uh, the bulk of the wall would be wood, except for maybe like where the the windows are. Okay. You know, shore up underneath the windows, however big they're going to be. And then possibly some detail pillars on the outside to right. get more depth. That was the okay. idea. Okay, that looks good. All right, so let's start by just getting the wall built. Um, okay, so here's the tentative outside fence design. What do you guys think? That looks good. Oh, yeah, I like that. Because I wanted to use at least one of the, the blocks that echoes what's in the house. I do like that. It looked really good on me. Yes, it does. It is. I like yep. that. Okay, perfectly. cool. That, that's what I wanted because I, I wanted to incorporate what BVD would already been working on. So. Now, is this going to end up being an entrance over here too, I'm assuming? <coughs> or an exit? Entrance exit? Something like that? This is the garden out on this side, and I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for my stone framework. I'm thinking I could go stone, moss, stone, moss, top of mixture. But I'm also tempted on the brick. The problem with the brick is it's not any mossy textures, you know? Like, I want it to look weathered, not new. Right. You know, my neighbors are kind of annoying me right now. Uh-oh. What are they doing now? Well, they do competition with bass, you know, people with really loud, obnoxious cars. Uh-huh. And that itself isn't so much of a problem, except for the fact that whoever they have visiting uh -huh. has one of the n worst sounding, like, n yeah, just bad. Bad. Like somebody strangling a cat. Where is the house is going to go? Do we want that land leveled? Um, we wanted to incorporate some of the terracing into the levels of the house, but within the rooms, certainly they need to be level. But really, if you're the ones working on the rooms, then I, you're the final arbiter of how it's going to look. All right, Kaiba, thanks for stopping by. Hello, cow. Soon you will not be able to enter it. Side. Oh my goodness. What? Is that the car? <laughs> yes, you heard that? Yeah. Yep. See what I tell you? Oh, BBB and I live on a busy street. We were actually used to that. <laughs> oh, see, that's not normal in our neighborhood, so... No, I really like this. And they're like three houses down, and it's doing that. I'm surprised you can get away with that in your state. Yeah, I, know really I like the spacing. I'm thinking maybe we can make it broken, like, uh, like this. I know in Texas there are laws against playing anything that loud. Well, Arizona is a little lax in the effect of they only enforce it if somebody calls and complains. If nobody calls and complains, they won't. And I happen to live in a neighborhood where a lot of people are afraid of cops. Oh, okay. Because Arizona? <laughs> yep. Guys, just a little uh, warning. Um, I just noticed that a lot of the bricks that we put down have are the monster egg versions. <laughs> ha! The which? Sorry? These, uh, squares and some of my bricks I accidentally put down are the monster egg version. Oh! Okay. Actually, wait a minute. Oh. That's the 
bad idea. Nope. The ground's infected, right? That's true. The bad oh, things awesome. happen here. Yep. <laughs> hey, whatever works. So, what kind of floor do we want inside? Uh, which room are you working on? Uh, just any. Well, this um, is supposed to be a grand ballroom of sorts. Yeah, so we were thinking go nuts with terracotta in there. Um, I can imagine that the foyer floor might be a little decorated as well. But not as much as the ballroom, so... Probably, I'm thinking stone floors, at least for the ground floor. Like, stone or... Stone slash terracotta. And then on the upper floors, we'll go for wooden. How tall are you going to make the rooms? I've got, I think, seven blocks tall right now. But I'm in the grand ballroom. Yeah, well, the grand, the ballroom can actually be taller than, like, than other floors, possibly. Well, that's why I got it seven. I'm thinking like okay. the I'm thinking the grand ballroom and the foyer should be like seven blocks, mm -hmm. and then like the rest of the house maybe like five blocks. So it still gives you that feeling oh. of huge. Yeah. Okay, that sounds good to me. And then the if we're do if we end uh, I don't know if we're gonna do a second floor, but if we do, then we can go from there. Okay. Well, we have the ground floor, the second floor. And then the attic. You know, because we do have to finish this <laughs> today. Well, I was going to say, even with just the ground floor alone, I think it'll be hard-pressed to get it done. Well, we do need... Um, we do need the... Some bedrooms and stuff, so... I mean, we, we could expend, extend the house so it's all one... Not multiple stories. Is it just me, or is that terracotta really hideous? Um, it's not it's, just you. I was going to say, it's not okay. just you. That's been the consensus by a lot of people. And and that, the, the color and the way that they function, because they're not intuitive. Uh, it's well, not. They're also random orientations. No, they're not. There's There's a really stupid method that they built in for how to place them. And it's different than anything else. You know, like a log, if you place it, no matter where you stand, you place a log, face up, it stands up. Sorry about that. Uh, hubby stopped by for a kiss. So. Oh, that's okay. Hi, <laughs> hubby. Anyway, you know, logs do that. If you push it against <laughs> something, <laughs> it's that. No matter which way you face, it does that. Terracotta, on the other hand... It's purely by how you're facing. Yeah, so you can come up with different patterns just by way you're facing. Cool. It doesn't matter where you stand, it's all about where you face. See? Uh-huh. That's what makes it such a pain in the royal rumpus. Oh, the peasant rumpus works too. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> hey, yeah, you know, call it where I see it. Better. I didn't hear cow. Oh my goodness. Somebody blow out their speakers or something, please. With a gun? <laughs> I'm not going to confirm or deny that. <laughs> well, you didn't say what kind of gun. It could be a water gun. Hey, that works too. I think what you guys hoping for is someone's got the wrong amp for their speakers. Turn up too much and then go Oh, that kind of blow out. That'll work too. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, and I forgot about auto jump. 
you auto jump. I have a mod that actually makes auto jump only trigger while you're sprinting, which makes it much more useful. I won't disagree. Oh my goodness. Take your cheap car and go somewhere else to annoy the neighbors. <laughs> I believe it's two by two. So what do you think of this as the entryway? Oh, that actually turned out pretty nice. Mm. Oh, yeah. Very somber. I like it. Yeah, that looks really good. Whoops. You never realize how much things like a builder's wand and world edit and all those fancy toys <laughs> with mods until you don't have them. Well, I've you never used world edit. But I do miss the builder's wand. Oh, uh, if you ever used world edit, you would miss that too. Let's see. I'm assuming that this is the outside wall here. That's right. I was going to put some of these trees down. I realized that the way they're going to grow is just going to be crazy because the trees I want to use, I can't grow correctly. Val, I'm going to let you fix that whichever way you deem necessary because that little corner there confused me. <laughs> yeah. Uh... That should do it. Like that? Yeah, I think so. Um, what we could do is since we got just double it up like this oh that okay. actually ended up working out rather well when we have a spot like that we just what? double it up well i made the the grand ballroom is seven blocks tall so i'm just kind of oh. extending the house wall up and then i got to where this entrance is right here which is to the kitchen garden and I was like, okay, so we'll go five blocks like we were talking about. Well, because of the terrain height, it ends up being the same height. So if we start oh. decorating with like stairs and everything, it actually helps to incorporate some style into the buildings because they're by natural going to go up to stairs and stuff. It looks like. Cool. <laughs> right? <laughs> And don't worry, I will put windows in once I get the walls kind of figured out. I figure we still have Minecraft limitations, which means single wide doors and all the boring stuff. I'm spoiled. I really wish they had wedges. All right. Yeah. So this is a ballroom? Party hall. Yeah, basically. I wasn't sure if we're going antique or more modern. So, ballroom, I guess, is given that we're going older. Then a step down into a ballroom would be fine. 
Right. That's what I was thinking. And then a step down from... Basically, I was thinking because of the way this is set up, Tex, uh -huh. with this being the Grand Fourier, is extend this patch of grass out. Uh -huh. Obviously, not grass, but whatever floor material. And then have... This like a little stairwell, <laughs> like this. That's exactly Oops. what I was thinking. Oop. And then have a railing kind of come across here. I bet they don't have terracotta stairs, do they? No, of course not. Yeah, of course. But some kind of railing going this way. To where the wall is right here. So what I was also thinking was the foyer ending right here with the wall. No, nope, wrong one. No, because with the stairs there, I was thinking some type of entryway. Uh, I'm thinking of when you walk in here, uh, you're not immediately faced with the uh, party hall. Well, right, that's why I was saying the stairway's kind of over here. Because then that kind of comes in the four way. Oh, yay. Uh, that kind of gets it off to the side. Still leaves it open with the railing of whatever kind we use. And then this leads up into the, the area where you go to the kitchen and the dining room and the outside garden. What do you think right here? Uh, this will also allow for a little bit of a spot for decorations, uh, gardening, uh, bushes, stuff like that. Bushes? Did someone say bushes? A little bit of a window. <laughs> oh, yeah. As far as the outside. Yeah, no, that works out great. Keep doing that. Oops, I did it again. Blue badger. Oh, no, oh, what the hell? <laughs> Oh, goodness. I had to do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that second class elitist. elitist. He's saying that this is the first time he's ever watched a Minecraft stream for more than 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. It means we're entertaining. So here's a question, folks. I've got some of the structure out here built already. Um, what I'm trying to think is I want to do a fencing inside the garden. I don't know if I want to go with iron bars or if I want to stick with wood fencing. Uh, the other thing I would do here. If it's the entry, formal garden, I would say iron. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. It's our text you were saying? Uh, I was just thinking of stairway. Ah. Uh, yeah, this isn't permanent. Boy, this looks hideous.
Okay, so the entryway can obviously be done a little differently. Oh, wow. Perfect. What is what? We're, we're so good. We're so good. I was right amount. You write them out. Perfect right amount. We're so nice. good. <laughs> <laughs> How's that, Mr. Geo? Who we got here? Maybe even extend this out a little more. Oh, yeah, that actually looks these, nice. These look like bathroom tiles. I know. Oh yeah, see, and that this feels like a grand stairway kind of thing. Where? Right here. Oh, yeah. Well, you want an entry. Right. Now I just Someone... need to maybe put some kind of pillar. Like here. And here. Yep. So it goes up to the ceiling. Yep. You want to make an entrance if you're coming in from this way. Exactly. See, that's going to be the outside of garden. That means placing more terracotta. Hey, folks, just let me know I need to take a break at the hour, so I'm going to get up and stretch my legs. Just take a minute. I'll be back in a couple. Okay. Alrighty. Same with me. <laughs> be right back. Cool. Hmm. Batman, hello! Welcome to the stream. Sorry I didn't see you until now. Almost look cool. Mm. This floor almost looks like an acid trip. <laughs> Which pretty much a lot of Victorian houses had that problem. I know. What are we doing? We are building a Halloween house. <laughs> Which will be available. We will be putting it up for downloads. We'll get it and have fun in it. At least mm -hmm. that's the plan. That's, it'll be on... Uh, I keep oh, wanting to call it Curse. Okay. Well, it is technically still curse. 
And Katrina. Yeah. How are y'all doing tonight? Even though Twitch bought it. Mm-hmm. And Benny. How you doing, Benny? Benny Bumsick Claws? Is that how you pronounce it? Actually, let me turn the sound on a little bit. Oh, there's an ex I guess the exit to the garden? Yeah, I figured there are... Right here? Yeah, I figured just, you know, the vegetable garden. It's a fancy vegetable garden. Yeah, the fancy vegetable garden. So, need some place to grow the food. <laughs> right? Sure, blame the baby. <laughs> baby did it. <laughs> There'll be a lot of that in the next 18 years, too. Uh huh. If not longer. Sometimes yeah. it is, yes. Start Real adding time. mods. Right? Where's where's Carpenter's blocks? Right next? Right, exactly. See, with all the fancy terracotta, they should have put in some kind of stained glass. Not colored glass, but like patterned stained glass. Yes. Maybe they will some would have been nice if they'd done it. You know, it's funny talking about the mods and everything you know, watching the minecraft forums and how people complain about oh this version of minecraft they're just copying mods and to some extent yeah okay they are no big deal though because think about it when was the last time any of us other than tonight just played plain old vanilla yeah uh, i've actually never yeah today <laughs> right but if they start adding more and more features that are mod-like, more and more people play it without having to do mods. This is true. Actually, Vines being climbable was originally a mod too. Oh, I don't doubt it. I, I used that mod before it was vanilla. And the um, stairs, like, wrapping around, that was a mod too that I also used. I am back. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome back. back. 
Welcome back. By the way, the side that I'm digging out here is one level below where the floor actually is. I'm just leveling it out in the dining room. So the floor goes on top of what I've put here. Does that make sense? Oh, makes sense. See, like things like glass. You know, come on, Minecraft. Get with the times. Connected textures, please. Oh, I know. Oh. I mean, it's cool that glass is just a little tiny pillar now when it's not touching anything, but... And, Deck, I'm not sure what you mean. As far as I know, I've spelled it correctly. Don't and let Batman's... it fool you. Tex is always not spelling things correctly. <laughs> hey, I resemble. I mean, uh, I resent that. <laughs> <laughs> Batman says hi. Hey, Batman. Hi, Batman. <laughs> hello, Batman. Or, hello, Batman. <laughs> so that's dining room. So dining room is going to be sunken? Uh, no, it'll be at the same level. So you can just lay down the floor. Ah, I was just okay. down so you can just lay down the So we can lay down. I mean, yeah, we can lay down on the job. <laughs> or get distracted easily. <clears throat> we do that anyway. Yeah, just say we don't need a flat floor to do that. Nope. Oh, look, something shiny. Nope. Squirrel! Pretty much. <laughs> the wall to the dining room is going to be, what, here? Yep. I want to hang out in the dining room, big. So that's three. That's center. Mm-hmm. more here so we actually need to have a wall here Now, given how big this room is, if we're not going to do a second floor or an attic, then we might want to put some bedrooms off of here. Possibly. Like split it into a dining room, hallway, and then bedrooms. That works. And thank you, Undone, on Mixer. Rello. Oh, is this set on permanent day? Yes. Uh, Just to make it easier. Yeah, daylight cycle off. The so command, the command feedback is also off um, because I'm using the div command with JEI instead of the creative menu. That gets annoying. Yeah. Always try to see everybody. Same here, it doesn't always work. <laughs> no, especially if you're distracted by something. 
distracted? By what? I we like never get glass, distracted. By the way. Oh yeah, never. Never distracted. I really like that glass. The light gray? Yeah, it kind of gives it that, that old feel is what I'm going for. And it's much clearer than the actually clear glass, which makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Right? See, I don't want to move too much further because I don't know how you guys want to see through this wall of me if you want to start back some space. That's what looks really good, Geo. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, see, with the amount of room you're building here, we can push the garden back or leave it right there. Well, the as far as the planners, I like the way this is set up. That's actually kind of nice. Uh, but now you can start adding things like, you know bushes and you know I guess a hedge mage even hedge maze would even look good I have to get a house in here a broken one on one of these sides because you wouldn't want the house the groundskeeper's house in the middle so. sure you put that over here baby in this part dogs hey it wouldn't be a stream without the dogs <laughs> true <laughs> <laughs> Quit it! <laughs> yeah, the neighbor's little girl. My wife's surrogate granddaughter. Ah. Uh. Because none of my kids will ever want to have children. That's what they've said, anyway. Tuck. <laughs> This will be to walk straight into the dining room. Hmm. Swordbreaker, welcome to you. It has been a ball sword breaker, hasn't it? And Spirit, welcome. So, Gore, how many bedrooms do we need for your story? It's at least seven, isn't it? That's uh, a lot of bedrooms. It's um five. It, um, it's six if the. If the groundkeeper is living out in the grounds, like I would say, yeah. House, yeah, there'd be five bedrooms because Winston and Flora share one because they're married. Oh, right. Okay. Even though you could still technically have twin two beds because they're married in for money. Yeah, so how many? Um, there'd be like yeah they have a pretty big bedroom and then Max Ooh. their son would have a pretty big room and then the servants would just have like small servant quarters yeah so I've got two small rooms here for servant and these oh. ones are slightly larger oh we're getting there undone because yeah. I had originally planned for them to be on the second floor but it doesn't look like we'll get to that we won't have a second or so. Spruces are a nice touch. Oh, thank you. We can extend these rooms out a bit more gore so that they're longer. And thank you for the follow on mixer, I'm done. I don't want to do that. I want to use a different wood. Uh, let's try this, see how that looks. So what do you think, Ray? Will that work in terms of size, or think it? Because we can move, we can make this one bigger. 
move it out. Um, so this could be the master. Um, nice. Maybe the maid and the butler are in the same room together because, like, they do have this um, weird sort of like romantic relationship thing going on, and then the chef would be right next to the kitchen, so he can um, be like on yep. call whenever, if, say, like Max decides to wake him up at two a.m. for a midnight snack. Mm-hmm. Okay, so one of these can be for the, the, the maid and the butler and the other for the cook. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. And for the sizes here, the larger bedroom for the married couple and the son in the slightly smaller. But they're still much bigger than the servants. Yeah, that works. Okay. You shall label them accordingly. Don't make it real easy to make doors. I don't like that. Uh, ballroom party room. What do you think of the floor? Wow, that says party for sure. Holy yeah, cow. I like that. Holy cow. Ooh. Yeah, it's everybody's okay. reaction. Ooh. <laughs> we could even break this up a little bit with the, another pattern. Well, what if we used uh, the prismarine blocks as an edging, possibly? That's what I was thinking, something like that. Yeah, that would look good, I think. But even, say, out the middle... Oh, in the middle. Um, Just have a different pattern right in the center. Or even a planar block, like one that doesn't have a pattern to... Yep. For the dance area. Yep. Or well, a dining that's... area. Well, the dining room's over here, so... <laughs> Might well, do if they're having a, a huge banquet or something. Yeah, exactly. I guess they could use yeah. that. Exactly. This is light it up, huh? I'm being told to light it up, dab. If I dabbed, I would probably hurt myself. <laughs> <coughs> Now my son, he'd probably dab. Alrighty. You know, actually that prismarine would look really good. Sure. And thank you DJ for the follow. Is that oh, DJ the see. Dude? Yes, DJ the Dude. Oh, and for the people in my chat, if you don't know who Raider Raider is, and Val's Noisy Toys, uh, and Fox Crispin, toys, uh, I'll get to the others in just a minute. <laughs> uh, Val's Noisy Toys and Greater Raider are heavily involved with Tolkien Craft. Uh, Greater Raider is the mod uh, author for Tolkien Craft. So a lot of the building that is associated with that mod pack, either he did or he got permission to use uh, all the builds for all of Middle Earth for that pack. Hello, Ulrich. So he's done a lot Welcome of Welcome to the that. stream. Uh, Val was one of the original testers for uh, Token Craft, as well as a few other things. For streamer too. <laughs> Longest streamer. Yep. And I continue the tradition of breaking all the things to today. I don't know what to put in here yet. But I like the purple surrounded by the uh, prismarine. 
Maybe even Prismarine right around the edge. Well, and there's yeah. an important thing is Val was the one that helped establish the whole concept of Squirrel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. Although Greater Reader is the one that started by saying it. He did have to explain it to me what it was. Because he would say it in my chat whenever I got chat whenever I got distracted. What do you think? Yeah, that looks good. Yes. And we have just the right spacing so that it'll look good on both sides. Yeah. And not only does it say uh, party, it screams party. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> howdy. Literally. Why, literally. Party. Party. And for those of you that are new, the whole idea behind squirrels is all you got to all I got to say is go watch the movie by Disney called Up. That will tell you everything. Watch the dogs in that movie. Yes, that's what you need to do. <laughs> Oh, that's why it's throwing it off. Be a floor. Get have stairs going here. Here. Make some. I hope Gore's not somewhere hiding down underneath this hole in the ground that's here. Yeah, probably. Because he just got covered up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he'll be fine, he'll be fine. Okay. Oh, nope, he was above we me. Have, we have the clone replacement. We'll be fine. There we go. Well, there's the... Uh, Main garden exit slash entrance. And hey, Ninja Punk. Hello there on Twitch. And I hesitated because I wanted to say Twitter. Ooh, very nice. Oh, wow. Side is looking so cool. I love the front entrance. Yeah. Oh, this isn't even the front entrance. Yeah, this is the this garden. Is the garden. <laughs> Front entrance to the garden, yes. Off of the ballroom. The dining. All right, Undone. You have a wonderful evening, and thanks for stopping by. Not gonna work right. Yeah, I guess since we're not having a second floor, we don't need an area set aside for stairs going upstairs. Well, True. Upstairs. well, I have a feeling we're going to need to finish this up in uh, a second stream because it is quarter to eight. Yeah, and, and I gotta <laughs> leave for the night, so yeah. <laughs> well, that's what I was thinking. So, but at least I got the pattern down, so finishing the outside mm -hmm. walls shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, I can work on it for, you know, another couple hours. And see how far we get, but... Uh, I was hoping to have it out for Halloween for people to try, but... Yeah, I think well, we just had our sights set on a build too big. Yeah, well, we, it's the first time we've done this, you know, so... Mm -hmm. True. 
I mean, this has been fun too. A lot of fun. Yes, it has been. I know I've been enjoying it. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah. I, will, I think leaving a little unkept over here will look really nice because, you know, it's been time. It's gone away. Yeah, Foray, that's done for the framer. It's not, it's, I made it as close to dimensions as I could. It should line up. Well, Ulrich, we were attempting to get a giant mansion with a full out story background. Uh, trying to get it complete in one night for everybody to download on Cursed, Twitch, whatever it is. And I think we bit off a little tiny bit more than we could chew. Just a little. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, like I said, it's a learning experience. Next time we'll know. Mm -hmm. Get it back just a touch. I, uh, this over here is the um, summoning ritual thing. Where are you, Gory? Like, um, out back by where the, the thing is. Ah, uh, I see ya. Okay. Um. Yeah, he, like, took their heads and made this thing uh, summon Balthazar to the mortal world and Balthazar actually liked the hand of it Balthazar said that if he completes a simple ritual then Balthazar would give him his revenge against the upper class but um, he actually brings about Hell on Earth, basically. Which, yes, is his revenge against the upper class, but not just the upper class. <laughs> Unfortunately encompassed everybody. Well, I was going to say, the demon didn't lie. He just did what demons do and just, yeah, don't tell the whole truth. <laughs> That's kind of how it works. I clicked start. Although he probably didn't even need to lie, um, <laughs> Richard probably would have got a, a hit with it anyways, even if he had just told the truth. Oh, probably. As people desperate to exact revenge are. I made the path to his house look a little bit more corroded because of his corruption. Perfect. Cool. That works. So, perhaps we can finish this up next Saturday? Yeah, Does don't have anything people? planned so far, so I don't see why I couldn't. Yeah, I think we can too. Me and my dogs will be there. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Tex and Gore? I think we lost him. Uh, give me just a minute. I'm concentrating. Mm -hmm. ended up being harder than I thought it would be. Uh, one of those focus moments? <laughs> yeah. Actually, yes, I do, Ulrich. If you go...
If you go to the link that should be showing up soon, that will allow you to join the Discord that we have as a group. And chat. Rooting to my my group as well. Chat. Restream bot with the voice activation just spoils me so much. Huh. That's what you get. Let me see. Oh, wow. You've done quite a bit over here. Oh, I love the house split in half. That's fantastic. Yeah, I was talking to Miss BBB about it because I was just standing in the chat. And I was going to try to level it. I'm like, no, you know what? The way she did the fence, it looks like the ground needs to rip and lift it up. Awesome. Yeah, that's what I did with the fence with screws down originally. So glad you followed up with that. <laughs> cool. Oh yeah, so nice. Very happy with, with all of that. I haven't Back. even looked at the rest of the place. Oh, I know. <laughs> and I gave him chairs. <laughs> I saw that. Gave them what? Chairs. Oh. Well, you gotta have some place to sit when you're in the garden. Yep. We're left over here a little unworn camp because we went back to the house. No one would go over here very much. I like the bisected path too. It's just something different, you know. I wouldn't like drawing them straight. That's how I think. So I want to do something different. I don't know. Yeah, that wood texturing the slab looks fantastic. Huh? PVB put down some uh, slabs around the entrance to the sitting area, and it just looks really good. Oh, nice. Yeah, she's not a half bad builder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mando. I see hey, that. You think we can get another portal sideways down here? I don't know if they go that shape. I know they did some weird things with portals, but. Hello, person on YouTube that I can't exactly pronounce the name. I'm hoping that does not indicate that I'm going to have to do what your name says. Uh-oh. Pretty much, uh-oh. <laughs> but I will, if I have to. No, the sideways portals apparently don't work. Yeah, I didn't think so. That's a modded thing. Well, you could pick up the actual portal. Look, but it's not in the vanilla portal. I mean, if it was a block, you could place it as a block. I think you can give yourself the portal block. I would assume so. I just don't know what the command is to do that. And I think it still ends up going straight up and down instead of what you're hoping it does. Dang it. Out of there. I didn't know they had farm animals, Val. Well, apparently they do in the dining hall. <laughs> Darn. Gotta get the food from somewhere. That's true. There was a pig here, but he took my suggestion and vacated the premises. Well, you can move the portal. I just did it there before I see if I could, yeah, pick that up, and I couldn't pick it up. <laughs> there we go. 
Well, we got the ballroom kind of squared out and going along. All right, so what do you think of the color scheme for the uh, dining? Was oh, that that new nether brick or uh, end brick? Yes. Actually, I kind of like that. That goes well together. That's what I thought, sort of cream and blue. Quarter of Prismarine, the way it's colored, kind of goes along with a lot of different colors. What should I do in the middle over here? Maybe lava with glass over it? Ooh, that would be kind of cool. It would. Could he even... Or still lava? Uh, still lava. Could possibly make a pattern by alternate with a little bit of uh, uh, water under the glass. What? Uh, possibly. yeah, you don't want lights. Actually, if this is going to be kind of Victorian, you don't want lava. Anything like that either. Now, this is vanilla, Amanda. Everybody's like, you're playing vanilla? <laughs> yeah, this is pure vanilla. See, what was the color you used in the the main foyer? Uh, that was a terracotta. Well, I know, but which one? I don't remember. Uh... Well, you, you can grab a copy of it. Yeah. Oh, I've still got some. Uh, gray glazed terracotta. Oh, you know that red might work. I would do the red in the center. See, that's what I was thinking. That's why I picked it. It's like, that would actually look good with everything. Really good contrast. Yeah. So what do you think so far, Val? It's looking good. Oh, that's creepy, Corey. <laughs> do we even want to... Oh. Ooh. His little <laughs> altar. Gray was always good at evil. <laughs> are, you, are you thinking of maybe powering the redstone? With the redstone torch, but I don't know. I, I don't know if you want that. Though. Uh, did we want flowers in front somewhere? I heard that mentioned. Well, we've got the the main walkway here. Although I don't know what we would use for a. Somehow we ended up with a walkway here or a garden. The garden. Like a spot to put plants. I forgot, yeah. I just gotta put a window or something in there. Like a... Like a glass wall garden. <laughs> like a wall garden. Yeah, like uh... Let's see. I don't want to use that one. Use a light color. Let's see how that works. I see what you're doing. Like, almost like a greenhouse angle. Yeah. When you're inside the house, you get to look at it from here all pretty and stuff. Atrium. Atrium. Only instead of being completely enclosed, it's enclosed on three sides. Now, do you want me to put things right under the grass? Or would you like flower pots? Uh, be creative. Okay, I think this looks better. Oh, wow.
What's the theme of sight? Bluey and purple? Yes, that it looks does. much more creepy. <laughs> I'm thinking stark white for the plants. That's like, like, feel like, feel like you're going bone on the plants. And see, we'll end up with about the same thing here. You gotta figure out spacing here. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we go like this and this. So yeah, just like this. Terracotta. Apparently, this is the black one. This is black terracotta? Apparently. Wow. Black glazed, yep. <laughs> and then this is like the front entrance. What's made this a little hard is offsetting it. Oh, see, that looks good. And you just do the same thing over here. Yeah, I'm trying to make the vines not be consistent. Does that make sense? Yep. Yep. Plants don't gra necessarily grow in a pattern. That Unless they've like been curated. <laughs> well, this is true, but not when they're That's left to grow wild. Of. Well, exactly. Okay, floor is done. Cool. You might want to wear sunglasses in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't say they... Maybe they're half blind, so they need them to be that bright Ooh, so they can see I like it. That. Who did the plants and stuff in here? I did. Except Fox? Ah, nice. Mr. Crimson is our on-site gardener. That's almost exactly the kind of thing that I had in mind for that spot. Yes, that's yeah, what I told him. Growing, yeah. but not like out of control, but not like tame. Does that make sense? <laughs> yep. <clears throat> Real gaming dog. Welcome. I'm stuck on what to do for the garden back here now. I've done so much. <laughs> Let me finish up with that over here real fast and I'll get some help. <laughs> Corey in there pigging around. Hey, Corey. <laughs> the only problem I see is where is the front door going to be? Right here? Well, the, where's the door here going to be? Uh, I haven't decided if I'm just going to build like I did over there. I just The fences aren't permanent. They're just there to kind of outline. Okay. Um, trying to kind of figure out how I want to do this. Oh, I see. Uh, that went out like this. I don't. I don't look fence. Oh yeah, it does because that comes out in front of it. Okay. Let's add a little more creepy to these plants. Check in. There we go. A couple of dead bushes inside there, right? That works. I like it, I can't with the regular plants. <laughs> I 
Is he dying in the background there? Eh, yeah, wife's coughing. Ah. Yeah, you know, I do like the split house. And the broken fence. That looks really good. And the debris at the bottom. Hello, Korik. This is the Society of Squirrels. We are a gaming group, and we are building a mansion that, should we ever get it completed, we hope we will, uh, we are going to release it for everybody else to play, but this is our annual Halloween spooktacular squirrely Halloween. Thing. Thing. Yep. Stuff. And I need to go take a break. It's been an hour and a half for me. Is that all? Alrighty. Demigods. Uh, actually, Demigods. No, you didn't. Uh. Outlining the rooms. For the wall builders. Oh, yeah. Uh, we need a pumpkin patch. Yes, we do. For the great pumpkin. All right, well... Actually, got a lot of room for a pumpkin patch. Yeah, it, well, it, I need to go on break. Yeah, and actually, right. I need to call it a night. I got as far as I could. Hopefully, we can do this, pick this up again Saturday, next Saturday. I yes. don't see why not. Yeah. Sure. Excellent. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that then. Otherwise, Indeed. Uh, you guys have a good night. Those watching my stream, please go check out and take your pick. Val's Noisy Toys, Fox Crimson, or Tex Cub, all of which are streaming on Twitch at this time. Yep. Oh, yeah. I never got... I'm sorry. I hope both you at BBB and uh, Fox Crimson an apology. Uh, I oh, didn't okay. get around to uh, giving them a shout out. I only got to uh, Greater Raider and uh, uh, Fowl's Noisy Toys. Uh, but Fox is also a streamer here on Twitch. Very nice. Uh, does a very good job of streaming. And BBB, his wife, uh, dabbles a little bit in streaming for now. Hopefully uh, at a later date she'll be doing more of it as she gets time. What little time she'll have. Hopefully, yeah, yeah what little time I'll have. <laughs> I say, once the baby gets here, there won't be any time left. We'll barely yeah. see Fox at that point. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, pretty much. It's fine. <laughs> so, and yes, Corrick, I do remember you from Curse, and thank you for stopping by on YouTube. But unfortunately, as I was saying, it's time for me to go. Uh, say hello to the Society of Squirrels. Please go visit them on Twitch. Uh, links are in the description of every video I have, plus how uh, you can get all the information by going to societyofsquirrels.com. You guys have a great day. See you later. Reader, reader. Bye. <laughs> now, where is that? I did put pumpkins down. <laughs> yes, I see.